After hours of waiting for the newswire to drop, it finally did. And guess what? It's an exciting sequel to last week's Crappy Event Week. Yes, I bring to you Crappy Event Week 2, Pooh Boogaloo, or another event that's crappy. Yes, so link below in the description section. So here's what's happening. Bonuses for collectors and bounty hunters alike, plus free collectibles, offers, rewards, and more. All players who jump in Reddit online this week will receive two bird eggs, two arrowheads, two family heirlooms. Should shiny objects be your obsession of choice, collectors who dig up at least five collectibles will get an offer good for 40% off an established or higher collector item, while collector rank five and above will get four uh, fossils and a reward for a free coat. Bounty hunters can earn 50% extra pay on all bounties. I guess that's that's good, I suppose. Better than last week. At least you get something for the bounty hunter uh, besides rewards. While those who complete the legendary bounty will receive an offer for 40% off an established or higher bounty hunter item. Bounty hunters rank 5 and above will receive a free roll outfit, accessory, or emote. So I guess the sequel is a little bit better than last week's crappy event week. It's still, for the most part, a crappy event week, but hey, 50% extra pay for all bounties. That's good. And, uh, yay. So moving on now to some more limited stock clothing items. You have the Porter jacket. You have the uh, Charo jacket. You have the return of the Concho pants. The popular Concho pants are back limited time only, as well as the raccoon hat. And uh, what else do we have that has returned? We have the uh, Schaefer Chaps, they're back too. And the Cardozo Vest. So those are the limited stock clothing items, including the Awangila hat, the Erin coat, the Preto Poncho, the Fan Stove Pipe hat, the Cossack hat, the Pell Taft Chaps, the Vaccaro Burkerick Sparrows, the Furred Gloves, the Darn Stockings are back along with the uh, Boyer boots, the Morales vests, so quite a few limited stock clothing items back in the shops, including the beloved Concho pants have returned. And here's the Prime Gaming stuff, yada, yada, yada. Most of you know the drill. If you have your Prime Gaming account, link to your Rockstar Social Club, five free legendary animal pheromones, 6,000 natural sex P, free wilderness camp. I'm sure most of you have taken advantage of these discounts and deals and rewards already players who connect their prime gaming before november 23rd will receive a free singular bandolier 50 percent off double bandolier 50 percent off the lux campfire 30 percent off improved bow so all that is the prime gaming rewards along with a return of a lot of limited stock clothing items limited edition because of those rare pixels that rockstar constantly has to mine for and uh, various uh, incentives, rewards for uh, pursuing the bounty hunter as well as collector roles this week in Red Dead Online. And another reason why I'm going to consider this to be a crappy event week is because, once again, there is no information, no tease, nothing regarding the next update to this game. The fall 2020 update, November update, whatever you wish to call it. This would have been a good opportunity for Rockstar to at least give us a nice little tease or a screenshot, an image, below in the description section of this article to get us excited for the next update, to get the hype building up, right? But nothing. Typical Rockstar fashion. Oh, well, c'est la vie. It's not as crappy as uh, last week, and some of the limited stock clothing items make it a little bit better for those of you that have yet to get some of those items. For the rest of us, we're like, yeah, the, the concho pants are nice, the Owen Gila hat's nice, but I already got those. But for everybody else, okay, go to your uh, nearest clothing store and check them out. And if any of those uh, limited stock clothing items you happen to like, purchase them and they'll be in your wardrobe for good. For whatever you end up purchasing, that is. And yeah, I mean, it's nice that they're doing the 50% extra pay for the bounties because the bounties aren't really that much money anyways, even the hard ones. So that's extra incentive for uh, bounty hunters out there, whether you're doing it for fun with the posse or you're simply just trying to rank up your bounty hunter role to rank 20. 
And uh, the collector items will be nice as well. So it's still a crappy event week, crappy event week too, like a poo boogaloo, as I just called it. But it's not as crappy as last week, but it's still crappy. Come on, Rockstar. Give us a freaking newswire. Give us a taste. Give us a tease. Give us a, a screenshot, an image of the next event week. I mean, the next DLC, the next update to this game. I'm hoping that we're a week from it launching, at least a week, maybe longer. But Halloween Pass, you still have a few more days left on the Halloween Pass. That expires on the 16th of November, so you have a few more days if you haven't maxed that out yet. It doesn't take long to max out. And then the 17th, at the earliest, could be either another event week a week from now, maybe a crappy event week three, or maybe they'll drop the fall update. We can only hope. Once again, Newswire link below in the description section. Your thoughts, your views, your opinions regarding this event week, what you like about it, what you don't like about it, what Rockstar could do better, and uh, your speculation, your theories about what you think the fall 2020 update is going to have in it. All that, as always, welcome below in the comments section.